Hi guys, welcome back to another LEGO review here on the Jurassic Collectibles YouTube channel. So today we're going to be taking a look at set 75928 Blue's Helicopter Pursuit. Now this set retails for around £50, it includes Wheatley, Owen, a pilot and of course the aforementioned Velociraptor Blue. This is a helicopter based set and LEGO are infamous for doing very similar gimmicky helicopters which aren't necessarily that popular with collectors. So I'm excited to jump into this set, get a look at it out of the box and see what we think of this helicopter build. Now of course before we crack open the set we need to take a look at the back of the box and you can see that the bulk of the play features are included with the helicopter here. There's a lot of nice different features on the helicopter, however there is also a quad bike and a cage included for Blue as well so it's going to be interesting to see how those function in with everything else included. And lastly, a look at that beautiful artwork included on the top of the box before we jump in. I really like how the Lego sets here have the dinosaurs in kind of cage style displays. They look really, really cool and it really just helps the packaging to pop and look that much more exciting for both collectors and children who are looking to pick these sets up in the stores. Okay guys, and here we can see Blue's Helicopter Pursuit out of the box. You can see it's a set which actually feels quite well balanced. It has a lot of nice components to it that feel very well shared out amongst the set, I suppose is the way I would phrase that. And it's actually quite a good looking helicopter. I'm pleasantly surprised with how bulky and how uh, playable the helicopter is. So we're going to do what we usually do. We're going to take a look at the minifigures first, then we're going to move into the set itself. Okay guys, and on the left here you can see the Owen Grady minifigure included in the set. It's the exact same as the Owen figure found in Lockwood Manor, however this time around he comes sporting this crossbow that you can see here, and also a rucksack which has some additional ammunition for the crossbow in it, and the crossbow itself does actually, if I can angle it, shoot out a Lego stud, which is quite cool. So that is your look at the Owen Grady in this set. I really wish they'd done another different version of Owen, um, or maybe at the very least one of the versions had had dual moulded arms, so you would have like half a sleeve and then some flesh like he actually wears the shirts in the film. However, it's a nice minifigure, it's just a shame that we seem to be inundated by the same minifigure in this wave. Up next we have Ken Wheatley, again an... Uh, identical character to the one which came in Lockwood Manor, the same character, here with that nice face print on him still, the nice torso print, the nice print for the combat kind of weapons carrier on the back, and then this time around he includes what I believe is meant to resemble a raptor claw, as you can see there, and then he also comes with a nice silver stud shooter where we can simply press the button on top to shoot the stud out. So that is Ken Wheatley, it's quite a cool minifigure. Um, just again, a shame to get a duplicate character in this set and not somebody who we didn't get, like Ian Malcolm or Benjamin Lockwood. And lastly we move on to the final figure to look at, an ACU kind of inspired pilot. You can see he has really nice printing on his legs for knee pads, a gun belt, a really really nicely printed tactical vest that looks really really good and that tactical vest print carries on over to the back and looks fantastic he also has goggles that can come up and down and removing his face you can see that we get a different ethnicity character here as well which is really really nice and his face sculpt there looks really good and I believe this is actually a face sculpt that's been used for Finn from Star Wars before which is cool to see so that if we put his helmet back on is the pilot included for the helicopter and actually my favourite minifigure out of the three in the set. We do then of course as well as the box says it's in the name itself get blue here you can see it's the exact same figure that comes in the Lockwood Manor set all the same articulation with the legs here and here and the openable jaw like so and you can still see again that really really nice colour scheme we have here on blue which looks absolutely fantastic. A great minifigure, as I said in the Lockwood Manor review, not as authentic as the one we got back in 2015 for the Jurassic World line, but still cool to get another Blue in this line, and it's a great character that I think lots of children will love because Blue is one of the most recognisable dinosaurs from the franchise. 
Okay, and moving on, we have this really nice little quad bike and trailer which comes with the set. You can see the quad bike itself is red. I've just sent everything flying everywhere, but you can see as I just pick that up. Oh, I'm not entirely sure where Owen's crossbow has gone, that the quad bike itself is red. If we pop the trailer off, it's a really, really nice looking piece. We're just going to focus on it. Looks great. It's a simple build. But um, the use of this bar piece at the front is really nice. Nice sticker details at the back. And a nice clip on the back there to attach the trailer. And then the trailer itself. It's again, nicely detailed. A simplistic build, but it looks really good. And it even has a spare, spare tyre on the back there, which is really, really nice. And we can then just hook them together. Similar system used in the middle there to the Carnotaurus set. And you can see that looks absolutely fantastic. And I've just realised Owen's bow didn't even fall off. It was back there the whole time. But yeah, guys, there you go. That is the quad bike and the trailer included. And as you can see, it fits Owen just fine. Okay, and then we also get this little kind of cage contraption for Blue. You can see some chicken leg here, which is usually used comically within the Lego sets as feed for the dinosaurs. The front gate here can be folded down and that is the same on the other side. These side gates here can also be folded down, which is really, really nice. It adds to your play options. You have a hook up on the top, which can be used to hook this up to a helicopter. Uh, the helicopter included in the set to be more specific. And we can simply place Blue in here. I'm not going to stud her on because it is a little bit fiddly. But we can close it up. Close the front up. And then Blue is ready to be taken away by our helicopter. So you can see a simple build for this. But it's a nice looking build. Holds Blue well. And it's effective in doing what it's set out to do. Which is cool. Okay guys, and then moving on to the final component of the set, which is the largest part. This is of course the helicopter. So you can see a really nice build here. We can spin the propellers and there is actually a mechanism built into the bottom here with this piece here where you can spin the propellers around, which is really, really nice, really cool. Something I've not actually seen done on a Lego helicopter before. We also then, on the sides of the helicopter, have these nice components mounted. You can see these flashlights here. We're going to zoom in on them a bit more. And also this stud shooter here, which looks really cool, has a really nice print on the side of it. And then on the back of the helicopter, it's quite hard to see, so we're going to lift it up for you guys. We have a hook, which can be brought down. And we also have a little removable compartment and if I bring that in we can see that inside here there is a dinosaur egg and it also has a tranquilizer gun mounted to the side so very nice piece and that is also refocusing the camera a better look there at the interior space inside of the helicopter. So we have a seat like this on either side. Really, really nice. Some nice graphical details as you can see. And overall, I really like this helicopter. It's nice, it's bulky, has nice details across the place. Very nice use of graphics. Spins easily as you can see. Tail rotor which also spins. All of it just looks really, really great. So I really like this helicopter. I like it a lot more than I thought I would, and I'm really, really impressed with it. Now, of course, as per any good helicopter, you actually need to be able to get a pilot inside. So we can take our pilot, we can bust open the front here, which removes nice and easily, remove it, revealing a seat for our pilot here. And also, depending on how well we can see that, a joystick and a control panel there for the pilot and then once the pilot's in the roof goes back on nice and securely we can position the helicopter and it is ready to go and lastly guys as you can see we can bring the helicopter in hook up blue and then fly away so it's a functional play feature 
holds nicely. I was worried that the clip would actually pull the hook off, but it works fine. And just as you saw there, you're able to lift it up nicely, very easily. So that is a great play feature built into the set. Okay guys, so that brings our review of Blue's Helicopter Escape to, uh, sorry, Blue's Helicopter Pursuit. I don't know why I'm saying escape, although I guess she is escaping because she's being lifted away um, to a close. I am really, really happy with this set. It feels fantastic. All the components here are a lot better than I was expecting. Um, if anyone heard my podcast with Brad Jost over on the Jurassic Park podcast, we spoke about these Lego sets and this was the one I was looking forward to the least. I felt it was overpriced and it wasn't a very interesting set, but having it in hand, it is a set that is incredibly well made. This is definitely one of the more finished sets. Everything here feels very final. All the components have nice features built into them. They're very robust and very reliable. And overall, although the minifigure selection isn't great, it really does make up for that with the build and this is actually arguably my favorite lego helicopter i have built yet so guys that's been your look at blue's helicopter pursuit i hope you've enjoyed this review as always make sure to stay tuned to jurassic collectibles for more lego reviews in the future and as always guys have a great week